Hi, welcome on the Angry Bird tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a red Angry Bird. It is really easy. What you're going to need is red, sorry, <laughs> um, white, black, yellow, and as you can see, the Angry Bird has a sort of tannish color in the bottom. So we like what I do is I get since I have brown, what I do is I mix it with the white, and then that makes a, tan, a tannish color. If you put a lot of white, it'll make a tannish color, and you could create this color. So that's what I do. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put some. We're gonna start off with red. So I'm gonna put I put some red here on the notebook so I can like get it from the notebook. I'm gonna finger paint because I don't know. Like, I think it's kind of easier and it's fun to do. So. Here's my paper. You can use notebook paper, it doesn't matter what kind of paper you use. Maybe construction paper is a little bit better for paint, but that's your decision. Um, so yeah, I like doing this the fun way, so I'm gonna paint my finger red. And I'm going to start creating like half of an oval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like this. I'm going to paint half of the oval. Maybe it's because the other half is going to be the tannish color. So this is what I'm going to do. And just take your time doing it so I can come out pretty. So keep doing the oval. Don't do it too much because you'll need some space for the bottom. So um, yeah, just keep doing that. And then after you do that, all you have to do is then color in the red. Okay, so just color it in. If you want, you can use a paintbrush. I just like doing it with my fingers. Cause it's kind of fun and I also can't find my paper so yeah but anyways I like doing it with my fingers so just keep doing that and the next color you have to take out is the brown and the white if you already have a tan color like use it and um, you can use it but if you want to mix the colors that's fine that's what I do because I can't find that tan tan color so it's okay. Try not to exaggerate in the paint a lot, especially in the red and in the tannish color because when you do the beak, you have to put it on top. So if you exaggerate in the colors, it's going to get kind of mixed up. So try to make it light, not to use too much of the paint. It doesn't have to be perfect because anyways, at the end, we are going to like fix it. So. After you have like half of an oval, the, the part of the oval, it has to be like, um, it has to be sort of like a small circle here at the, at the, at the like end. So you're making like the form of a circle like this. So that's what you need to do to finish. After you did this, you're going to need the tannish color, but... Now that you're using red, you might as well do the little feathery tops that's on the thing that's at the top. After you do that, you already have like that part. Right now it looks kind of messy, but well, after you're done, you're going to see the difference and it's going to look really pretty. So start doing that. Okay. Now, um... Now you can mix your colors. Just put some of the brown onto here. And then, not too much because the color that you're mostly going to need is the white to make it like a tan color. Because the color on the bottom is really light. It's not that dark. It's like a really light color. And as you can see, when I mix it, it makes a pretty tan color and you can see it's not 
a really dark color. It's almost the same color as as that. So yeah. And then what you're going to do next is complete the circle. So you're gonna like first do the form of the circle like this. You're gonna do the form of the circle here. After you do that, then color it in. Sorry if you hear music, is that my mom? Always turned on the music. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, after you do that, what you're going to do next is the beak. So, you're going to need the yellow. And just, you don't need it too much. So, just pour in a little bit of yellow. Now you can see why we have to do the color so lightly at first because when you do the beak, you, you need it to stand out because the beak is really important because you're going to use the beak to do the eyes. So just do it like this. You're going to do an upside down triangle, but the thing is that the triangle is going to have like a lump here. It's not going to be straight like that. It's going to have... It's going to have like a lump like that. It's not going to be straight. That's the only difference. I'm not the best drawer, but it's not going to come out perfect. It's just going to be like a simple Angry Bird. And if you're an Angry Bird fan, you're going to have fun making it. So... I have no idea what to say. Sorry. Okay. Now you can see he has that. After it's dry, after this is dry and this is dry and the beak is dry, maybe you could do a little bit more of yellow. But just wait for it to dry and then you could do that. So now what you're going to need next is the white because now we're going to move on to the eyes. Now you're going to see why the beak is so important. The reason the beak is so important is because the eyes have to literally go on top of the beak. So what you're going to do is um, with your like thumb, if you want to use your thumb, um, your, the eyes of the angry bird have to be angry. So you're going to, it has to be like, it has to go like, Lump, a lump here, and then straight, like that, straight, and then down. After you do that, then you just color the eye in. Try not to put too much, and don't do the black dot inside the eye so quickly, because then it's going to, like, smudge. I did that mistake a lot of times. So, and then, as you can see, the eyes are there. And now, just let it dry a little. Move it around like this. We're going to need black next, so I'm just going to start pouring the black right now because we're going to need the black for the tail. So dip your finger and just do three little stripes because that's what the tail has. It has three little stripes. Three little like fluffy feathers. The really important detail is that. Is the eyebrow because that's what shows that it's angry. It's angry because the pig took its pecs. Yeah. And now. The, I'm going to use a pencil for this. Part. This is like kind of like this. It's not tricky, but if you haven't done it, you may get a little confused. So I'm gonna dip my, like, uh, just a little bit, the dip of my pencil a little bit, just a little bit, onto the tape. Once, now that I did that, 
what I'm going to do is that I'm going to like create a little line separating it. As you can see. But it has to be like with the black. I'm going to get a little bit more black. Okay. Now I'm going to dip my pencil again. So that you can see. So what you need is like a little bit of black in the middle. Sorry I take so long. It's that I get nervous. <laughs> so just don't do the black. Don't do the black line in the bottom because that's not how the Angry Bird is. But if you want to, but it's not like it's not like that here. So I wouldn't do that. So keep doing the line. And this is a really pretty painting because it's not perfect, but it still looks good. It looks like homemade, so it looks like so pretty at the end. Um, so yeah, keep doing the line. And we're almost done. Now, uh, we're going to need a little bit, just a little bit more black. Now, the trick for, for doing, like, the middle of the eye, just dip your finger into the paint like this, like we did with the feathers. And once you do that, the eye has to go here. It has to go, like, in the tip of the eye. Like that. Now, we're going to do that again. Tip. Of the eye. Now wait for it to dry so you can make a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And once you learn how to do this, if you want, I can make videos for the other bird. That way you could draw like all the bits together, like as a family in a big construction paper. But that's if you want. I'll. I'll do that if you guys think that I'm like, I'm not a good drawer, but if you think that it looks okay. And if you want me to do the all the Angry Bird family, uh, I'll be happy to do it. Okay, now that, you, that I have the eyes, the final touch, the eyebrow. You're going to start from the middle here, from the middle of the eyes, going... Gonna do that again from the middle going up to the other side. Okay, remember I told you that if you want, you can color in the beak a little. That's what I'm gonna do to see if it gives my angry bit a little bit more aliveness. Okay, so. You're done. And if you want, you could write Angry Bird at the top with paint, color. You don't have to do this exactly with paint. You could do the same method with um with color pencils or crayons or markers. So yeah, this is your Angry Bird. If you want me to do the other Angry Bird Angry Birds I could do I could do one for each video. And then you could put them all together and make big construction bird with Angry Birds and make it a, your own poster. So this is my Angry Bird. I hope you like it. I'm sorry I took so long. It's that like it's one of like my third videos. I'm still really nervous. So bye. Thank you.